641 and to call Megan Soltz a super cop. It's not really an accurate description. I mean, Megan is a super cop in the Carmel Police Department. She's also a super paramedic, a super member of the Carmel SWAT team. And as a super intern working with the New York Fire Department, she assisted in the rescue effort during the miracle on the Hudson plane crash. And did I mention that she's also part of Carmel's COVID-19 task force? Megan has obviously experienced a lot since graduating from Carmel High School back in 2006. So Megan, how do you go from being a paramedic to a police officer? That's an interesting question. I got asked that a lot on the psych exam, actually, uh, <laughs> when I was first getting hired by the police department. So I started out as an EMT, moved into a medic, and then became a tactical medic for IMPD, SWAT team, and bomb squad, and fell in love with the law enforcement side of things. There were still situations, even as a tactical medic, if it wasn't safe or the scene wasn't secure yet, there was still kind of a line in the sand that I couldn't cross to go do whatever that job I was being asked to do. So the only way for me to do that was to reverse roles and become a police officer. And now I can fulfill both things, go in, make the scene safe, as well as take care of any folks that need help along the way. So during your internship with the New York Fire Department in Manhattan, you had a pretty interesting story with one of the biggest events that's happened in recent history. I was doing an internship with one of my peers from DePaul University with FDNY uh, when the plane went down in the Hudson River. So I really learned a ton with regard to mass casualty incidents as a result of that. And it's a cool story afterwards since I mean, the yeah, results you're, are so you're positive. You're involved with the miracle on the Hudson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeing the passengers come off of the boat that they were rescued, and then they came onto a ship that was commandeered to be triaged. And so we kind of got to help with that triage process and sort people into categories of how injured or ill they were. Uh, was an amazing experience. So as a paramedic and as a police officer, you're also heading up something very important for the city of Carmel as far as COVID-19. Part of what I assisted the mayor's office with was choosing what test was most appropriate, trying to figure out if, if there's a good test available. If so, uh, how do we collect the data? And if there's anything that we can learn from that data to move forward. You're also making history because you're the first woman to ever be on the Carmel SWAT team. What's that like? That's been an amazing opportunity. The guys on the team are fantastic. I uh, wouldn't have it any other way. Paramedic, police officer, SWAT team member. What do you do for fun in your free time? Uh, I love hanging out with family. I like golfing with my dad. Uh, working in the yard, if there's a body of water available and I can grab a boat, uh, that's that's where I would enjoy spending my time. You're good at so many different things. Is there something in particular that you wish you were better at? I'm a horrible cook. I, <laughs> I am a terrible cook. Can you make Pop-Tarts? I can make some Pop-Tarts, yeah. If there's a recipe, I can, I can usually walk my way through it, but uh, just to add my own stuff, it turns out to be a disaster. I actually asked Megan how she handled being part of the rescue efforts during the Miracle on the Hudson at such a young age. She told me everyone just focused on the moment. She didn't look at the enormity of the event. She said everyone just did their individual jobs to the best of their abilities, and all those people focused on just pulling off that one thing, they were able to pull off the extraordinary rescue so that they saved everyone. And there were actually, as you remember, no casualties mm -hmm. on that Miracle on the Hudson. So she's obviously done a lot. I mean, she got, she was talking about medical terms in such depth, and I'm going, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> and having no idea what she's talking about. So, I mean, an extremely intelligent person and showing, you know, basically what you can do with your life if you really apply, to, apply yourself.